Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So I found this article that has been released today by The Express and it's definitely a popular publication that I always read every morning. This title is basically about why the Queen has decided to draw the line upon the Harry and Meghan drama and put a stop to it because we know that all of their dysfunctionality in general, they have begun to overshadow the good charitable works of the likes of the Cambridges and all of the other hardworking senior members of the royal firm. What this report has basically concluded is that the Queen is fed up with their drama and she wanted to suppress the bullying report regarding the allegations against Meghan Markle when she was a senior royal bullying royal aides. So in order to suppress that, the Queen has decided to keep the findings of the bullying allegations private in order for a clear line to be drawn. Let me get into this. It's a very explosive article. There's over 700 comments on here. People generally have had a lot to say about it. The Queen is fed up of the drama around Prince Harry and Meghan Markle and wanted the report into bullying allegations against the Duchess to remain private for a line to be drawn, it has been claimed. It emerged earlier this week that the findings of a Buckingham Palace investigation into bullying claims made by royal staff against Meghan will never be published. A royal insider claimed the Queen did not want the investigation made public as there has been enough drama surrounding the Duke and Duchess of Sussex who are living in California since quitting royal duties. The source told Vanity Fair it was damage limitation protecting the royal family and also an extension of an olive branch to the Duchess of Sussex. The Queen feels there has been enough drama around the Sussexes and she wants a line to be drawn. Buckingham Palace launched the investigation into bullying allegations by staff against Meghan in March 2021. Past and present employees were invited to speak in confidence about their experiences of working for the former actress. It came after allegations she drove out two personal assistants and humiliated another member of staff. The Duchess has strongly denied these allegations and claims. At the time, the palace said any changes in HR policies recommended following the review would be shared in the Sovereign Grant Report, which is published annually and documents royal accounts for the entire year. However, a senior palace source on Thursday said the findings of the investigation will be kept indeed extremely private. The source also insisted that those taking part needed to have confidentiality. They added that the inquiry has led to changes to policies and procedures with members of the royal family and staff members alike made aware. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliam said the move was an olive branch ahead of the release of Prince Harry's tell-all memoir later this year in September. A royal expert also added that it is not a monument to transparency. Fitzwilliams also added the palace faced with the possibility of a memoir by Harry later this year. Who knows what else the Sussexes were going to do. This is obviously an olive branch to the Sussexes as well. This is not a monument to transparency and those involved may well feel hard done by, especially considering the allegations that Meghan ill-treated staff. It comes after Harry and Meghan last month returned to Britain with their children, Archie and Lily, for the first time since Megxit for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations. They made their first public appearance alongside the Windsors in two years during the extended bank holiday weekend. The couple made a series of bombshell claims about the monarchy in their Oprah Winfrey interview 
in March last year. And of course, the article concludes there. But what I found quite interesting was the commentary section, which has been quite explosive for me to read. One person has said she picked her victims well, like a predator would. Another person has added, if all you sugars are so sure, Megan is the innocent victim in all of this. Why doesn't she demand it be released? And I think that that is quite a poignant comment to make because the reality of it is, is that Megan has been extremely fixated on the concept of the palace trying to frame her as a vile bully which she is none of, at least that's what she has claimed. Another person has said, no wonder she's such a narcissist. The royal family always cover for Meghan, so she must feel extremely important. The royal family are making the problem worse by pandering to this actress. And she also added M actress, but I'm not going to repeat it. Now the house of Windsor is reaping what dirty Harry has bestowed upon them. What a joke the royal family have become. They are being destroyed from within by these two low down royals. They need to wake up and smell the coffee. The future of the House of Windsor depends on them doing so. Another person has also said, I disagree. It's in our interest to know if bullying was going on whilst she was a senior working royal. Another person has said, yep, it's obvious. Can't believe the sugars are on here sticking up for a bully. And there's a hell of a lot of sugars on this article, basically saying that they are glad that the bullying report has been suppressed because it's simply not true. It's all one big fallacy, it's all one big lie, and she is innocent in all of this. All of which we know is quite simply not the case. Another person has said, we all know Mark was a bully, Anything in the report will only but confirm this. The Queen wants her private life and her staff to remain that way. Markle will never be welcome in the UK. When she has taken all the money she can from Harry, he will be history and she will use his children against him. Let's hope he will be back to help his father and his brother. Until times change, remove the title Sussex from Harry and his wife. And a lot of people do really feel like that. And I don't think even in 10 years time, people's opinions will change that much about them. Another person has added, the report must have some horrible accusations against Harry and Meghan, especially Meghan. So it's not being published to protect the royal staff and keep the toxic two in check. That's why they have been so quiet as of late. With all that being said, I'll be back with another video. Bye guys.